ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश वेलकम्स यू आई रिकॉल ए वंडरफुल एक्सपीरियंस द लाइक ऑफ विच आई हैव नॉट हर्ड फ्रॉम एनी वन ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड ऑफ फिफ्टी इयर्स of association with swami i don't know why he blessed me with such a rarest wonderful experience this i want to share with the prashanti sandesh family to begin with i was appointed as a principal of baba's college at bangalore in the year 1989 from that year i served there as a principal till 1995 6 years it was then i was transferred to puttaparthi as the professor of bioscience in sachasai university according to the transfer orders in strict obedience i shifted from bangalore to puttaparthi soon after i landed here bhagwan sent a word that i should stay in staff quarters i stayed there in staff quarters shifted all the luggage and completed just one month of my stay in puttaparthi one month then suddenly i received a phone call from my friend he is from kavali of nellur district andhra pradesh very well known to me my closest friend by name sri aduri srinivasarao he is very well known to all devotees in andhra pradesh as he served as the district president of nellore later as the zonal coordinator of nellore chitur and prakasham districts in andhra pradesh adur shin was is my bosom friend he called me on phone i, I, I was in puttaparthi he called me from kavali nellore district anil kumar where are you i told him what she was so i am in puttaparthi don't you know that I, i i was transferred from bangalore to puttaparthi i am in puttaparthi right now i joined here one month back i am here right now that's what i said and she was said what you are there yes i am here then she was so started telling me the whole story which was subsequently published in journals and i narrated this event in front of bhagwan let me tell you the gist of it it seems a lecturer from kavali a colleague of shrinivas rao a very young man by name madhusudan rao got married and his wife's name name is nirupama the newly married couple wanted to go to bangalore and spend some time and ret- and return and uh, madhusudan rao told shrinivas rao sir i am going to bangalore i'm going with my wife we will be there on a, on a short trip then shrinivas rao told him look here mohan rao better you go to whitefield also you see swami's college is there you see swami's students hostel you also go to the college campus meet principal professor anil kumar there in his office is very well known to me that's what shrinivas rao said 
Sir, sir, when you said, I'll certainly meet, I'm also Baba's devotee. So saying, the couple, Madhusudan Rao and his wife Nirpama, left for Bangalore. Well, they went around the city, Lal Bagh, gardens and uh, Kabban Park. They went there, went many good places, sightseeing. And then they came to the white field, Brindavan. They were very much surprised to see the beautiful buildings there. Swami's constructions are quite typical, they're quite different, unique style. They, were, they started wondering, watching these beautiful buildings. They went there and they saw Swami's building, Trayi building there. And then they saw Swami's students' hostel. And then this Muslim Rao started inquiring, where is Principal Professor Anand Kumar? Somebody said, sir, you go this way straight. You will see the college building there. There you will see him in his office. Accordingly, the newly married couple, Madhusudan Rao and Nirupama, came to the college and they came straight to my office. And Madhusudan Rao saw me and uh, I received both of them and spoke whatever little I know, particularly with reference to Swami's message to newly married couple. Besides that, I offered them coffee and some snack in silver glass and silver plates. They were very much surprised because they, they might not have expected this hospitality. Then I took them personally around the campus. I have shown him various, shown them the various departments. At the end, I gave them vibhuti packets, kumkum, and turmeric packets. And suddenly asked the pune uh, to order for a taxi for them to go to the city. Accordingly, the taxi came there. I went up to the up to the car. And then I presented them a diary also. And they took the diary, they did namaskar to me, and they sat there in the car, went to the hotel, straight to Bangalore, where they were staying. They went to their room and came back to pay money to the taxi driver. Taxi was not there, taxi driver also was not there. They were very much surprised, but they concluded that Professor Anil Kumar must have paid money for the taxi. So that fellow left. Okay. Then from Bangalore, they returned to Kavali, where this boy Masun Rao was working as a lecturer in their college. Having returned from the trip, this Masun Rao met Srinivas Rao, my good friend, about whom I was talking. Srinivas Rao Garu, thank you, sir. We met Professor Anil Kumar. We spoke to him. He was so kind. He spoke to us very nicely. He offered us snack and coffee in silver glasses and silver plates. And not only that, sir, he has dropped us there in the city and arranged for a taxi. Srinivasra was very happy. Yes, yes, I know Anil Kumar is my good friend. He is like that. Then he said, Matsun Rao, you saw Anil Kumar in Bangalore? Yes, sir, I saw him. I enjoyed his hospitality. He gave me this diary also. He has shown him the diary. Then Srinivas Rao said, no, Anil Kumar is right now there in Puttaparthi. But you say you went to Bangalore and you saw him, enjoyed all the snack and coffee, received the diary. Diary. What am I to believe? You be here. I'll call him on phone and verify. Immediately, Srinivasra gave me a ring. I picked up the phone. Being here in Puttaparthi, 
and Srinivas said, Anil Kumar, where are you? I am here in Puttaparthi. Then Srinivas Rao says, how is it that you are there in Bangalore and entertain your guests? I do not know Srinivas. Probably Swami must have entertained, entertained them in my form. He must have given his blessing in my form. What am I to say? I am in Puttaparthi, as you know. This has surprised me. This shook me literally. Only to let you know that Swami can take any form. Because all forms are His. Eko hum He's the only one who is present in all of the forms. Though it's not a surprise that it can take any form, when it comes to me, it takes me to, to the top of the world. Baba appearing in my form? Baba appearing like Anil Kumar there in Bangalore? Entertained guests present in the diary? I am very grateful to Swami. But this only to let you know with no sense of pride. In all humility, that Baba will take any form. Baba will can bless anybody in any form. This is what I want to share with you. <coughs> Though personal. Then I would like to pass on to another very interesting experience. Andhra Pradesh, there is one place by name Guntur. The Guntur district office bearers came to Brindavan, Bangalore to have Baba's darshan and to invite him to visit Guntur. Bhagwan mercifully asked them to be seated in the Kalyana Mandapam adjacent to Swami's residence. All of them were seated. Seeing me from a distance, Baba said, Anil Kumar, your district people are here. You also go there, he said. Then immediately I went there and sat along with those people. Swami slowly walked and started talking to them very nicely. Enquired everybody, where do they come from? What did they do? What are their activities, high activities? at their respective places. And then suddenly the Swami said, where is the driver? You all came by bus, I know. Where is the bus driver? Then the district president by name S.S. S. Prakashrava. He said, Swami, driver is not a devotee. He is there. Swami said, is he not a devotee? What do you mean? He has my photo there in the bus. You might not have noticed. If he's not a if he's not a devotee, why should he keep my photo there in the bus? Then district president said, Swami, it is Shirdi Baba's photo, not your photo. What nonsense you speak? You mean to say Shirdi Baba and Sach Sai Baba are different? Don't you know Sach Sai Shirdi Sai? And he said. Then I picked up the message, ran and brought the driver to Swami's presence. Swami asked him, oh, why did you not come? Why are you there? And the fellow said, Namaskaram, Swami. Then Swami said, look here, driver, you are smoking heavily. If you smoke cigarettes like that heavily at this rate, your health will be affected. Your lungs will be spoiled. The whole family depends on you. you. You are a driver and with your earnings, you maintain your family. Nothing should happen to you. You should stand as a strong support to your family. Stop smoking, stop smoking. And call him to come very close to him and waved his hand. Blessed him with Vibhuti. 
this i am sharing with you only to let you know though there is shirdi baba's photo in the bus swami called the driver and blessed him and told our district president you say that sai baba shirdi baba photo is there don't you know that i am shirdi as swami bhagwan said this miracle is still so still so fresh and green in memory which i wanted to share with you thank you meet again